Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. Welcome back, YouTube. The fact that you're here probably means you like cards and card magic, so do I. Today, we're gonna look at a brand new card magic DVD, McMiracles with Cards, from George McBride and Big Blind Media. <laughs> All right, what is McMiracles with cards? Uh, it is four routines, okay? Not, not tricks, four whole card routines where one trick flows into the next. So four routines, 17 tricks in total, 17 tricks. And uh, it's all brought to you on this one DVD. And the entire thing is about two hours of instruction, two hours of instruction, and you've got George McBride, Liam Montier, a bunch of guys from Big Blind Media. Uh, it's a really fun DVD to watch. Everything in this DVD uses a normal deck. Uh, I believe one trick uses a duplicate, and one trick uses a gaff, but the gaff is something that you make yourself. All right, so let's talk about the tricks. First off, there's four different packet tricks. Packet tricks are smaller tricks that don't use the entire deck. So one of the packet tricks is called the Great Lie Detector Mystery, and it's a lie detector routine with 10 cards where you ask the spectator questions about their chosen card, and then the packet reveals the spectator's selection. And then the kicker is their chosen card has vanished from the packet. Then there's Polly's Graph. It's another lie detector themed effect with a small packet of eight cards. And this is kind of more of a mentalism effect. And while on the surface, it might look like the same trick as the previous, in this one, the spectator merely thinks of a card. Another packet trick is Nippy Knaves. It's a four jacks and three odd cards routine, which is a seven card ace assembly trick, but you're doing it with jacks. And then the last packet trick is called Cards to Pocket. Nine cards are shown and counted, and they invisibly travel into the magician's pockets. The magician then counts in between each vanish to prove he is actually losing cards from his hands, and eventually the cards start appearing in other pockets. It's a beautiful transposition routine based off of uh, effects by Jacob Daly and Charles Bertram. Now let's look at the full deck tricks. The first one is called Royal Marriage. The king and the queen are removed from the deck and the spectator places the king back in the deck and then the deck is shuffled. And then through a series of cuts and spell to your cards effects, the king is located once again. Then there's Universal Joker. The spectator selects any three cards from the deck and they are lost in the deck. The magician then uses the joker to transform itself one at a time into the spectator's card. In blow palm change, a spectator's card is chosen and lost back in the deck. The magician finds the wrong card, blows on it, and it becomes the spectator's card. In blend and spit, the spectator chooses a spot card and it's lost back in the deck. The magician finds two cards of the same suit to help him, and surprisingly, the two values add up to the spectator's chosen card. The magician then blends the two cards together and then splits them back apart. In Tom, Dick, and Harry, the spectator selects three random cards and the magician buries them with a pile of cards on each one. But when the cards are counted, the spectator's cards have vanished from the piles and they reappear in the deck by spelling out Tom, Dick, and Harry. In two-ton triumph, the spectator selects a spot card and it's kind of a triumph effect. There's two stacks shuffled end to end, face up and face down. But when the deck is spread, the deck has righted itself except for the three cards which are now face up. Double swap mystery is a prediction effect. Two cards are laid face down on the table one at a time. Two more cards are selected and signed by the spectator and lost back in the deck. But when the tabled cards are turned over, they are the spectator signed cards. In Campbell's Caprice, two cards are tabled and the spectator selects two cards. A completely free choice, the spectator then signs them and they are lost in the deck. The two tabled cards are picked up and shown and one at a time, the magician transforms them into the selections and the tabled cards are magically then in the magician's pocket and it's based on a Peter Duffy effect. In Remember and Forget, a spectator selects two cards and is asked to remember one and forget the other. They are lost in the deck. The magician removes four cards from the deck and places them behind his back. The spectator names the card they remember and the magician has reversed that card in his four card spread. In Jack's Gem, four kings are placed on the table and the spectator shuffles the deck and selects a card and the card is placed in the packet of kings. First, the kings reveal the suit to the magician and then the value, but then the spectator's selection vanishes from the packet of four and reappears in the magician's pocket and it uses a Jack Parker move. 
Triola Mystery is my favorite one of this entire DVD. It's a tabled card is placed aside, and the magician selects two cards, and the spectator selects two cards and signs them. The chosen cards are lost back in the deck, and the magician uses his two cards to find and sandwich one of the signed cards, and the second signed card is revealed to be the tabled card. Card to card case, a card is selected and signed and lost in the deck, a little ambitious routine, and then uh, three cards are pulled from the card case, two queens and a card with an indifferent back, and it ends up being the spectator's chosen card. And the last one is the Woodfield Torn Transpo. A card is selected and signed and torn and placed aside. The magician picks a card, places it into the spectator's hand, but when the spectator turns the cards over, it's their card and it's been restored. Wow, 17 effects, 17 effects. I'm out of breath. That was a lot of tricks. Of course, this DVD is everything you'd expect from Big Blind Media. It's all shot well, mic'd well. You have uh, good presentations and then good explanations. It's all done in the Big Blind Media Red Room. Sometimes Liam Montier comes in to help out. Sometimes it's some other Big Blind Media personnel. I say skill level wise, skill level wise, some of these tricks are completely self-working. Others of them are, are really slight heavy. They are really slight heavy and they're almost like the kinds of tricks that would fool a magician because just of the amount of skill that's in there. So certainly there's something in there for all ranges of skill. The other thing I like about this DVD is it gives credit where credit is due. If uh, George McBride doesn't actually comment where the trick was inspired from or who came up with that move, there's a little banner at the bottom that tells you uh, who all the creators are and it gives everybody credit. Well, that's all I can say about McMiracles with cards. It's a wonderful DVD, certainly packed with a lot of card tricks. There's probably something in there for everybody. You can find it right now at Big Blind Media. I wanna thank BigBlindMedia.com for allowing me to have this DVD so that I can do this review for you and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks, bye.